Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Nanshang. Grow your own food. I am out in my garden and I do just a little bit of work out here. I need to harvest some things because I have let, for one, let my okra get a little too big. And then I'm going to check on the corn and see how it's doing. I don't think it's ready to harvest, but I'm going to check. I'm going to let you see. And I'll probably talk about a few things. Um, I am going to do a how to start my garden video. And I'm also going to do how to plant in pots. Because um, you can grow anything you want to grow any kind of vegetables you like you can grow them in a pot they will grow so let's go around and check on first of all this okra I want to see this okra um, here I go again with this flipping the camera thing that's taking a picture. Okay. Here we go with the okra. The okra I have let get too big. But I'm still going to harvest it. Well, eat it basically. Yeah, that's it. See those? Green okra. Excuse my dirty gloves, but that's the okra. It's really gotten too big because what I've learned, you don't want them that big. Hmm. This might be a pretty good size, but however, they will get eaten and I have more coming up look at that oh there's a tomato over there turning red that spot must like Or something. It's the second one I've gotten. Put my herbs in every year. Um, this is parsley, basil. I need to take the flowers off. And this is uh, garlic chives, oregano down there. And this is thyme. That has started flowering, but I will still use it. Um, so let's go check on the corn. Let me take my glove off. And that is the corn. And this one is pretty much done, but I'm going to let it keep going. So what I've learned from watching other YouTube garden videos is that you want the these strings to be completely brown, even falling off, and completely dry. No moisture, no green. And there is some still some green in there, so I'm gonna leave that on for a little while longer and also you want the tip to be round if you feel in there the tip you want it to be round not pointy this one is still moist and a little pointy so I'm gonna leave them on for a little while I have quite a few growing one two three four uh, five six and then I have a couple over here so that's 
eight. I'm still waiting on my um, looking at a squirrel. It's my first time seeing a black squirrel running around back here. Um, still waiting on my greenhouse. Can't wait to that get here. But so let's talk about some. Growing in pots. This is Kalalu. I thought I completely destroyed my Kalalu, but clearly I did not. So that is Kalalu growing. And this is squash, as you can see, growing. I put this cardboard in these. Um, raised beds because I'm trying to kill the grass and the weeds because I think I am going to plant some fall vegetables if I can get them in the ground soon enough sooner rather than later when I say I have some work to do I have to come out here and clean these dead leaves and things off of my squash but here is squash growing in a pot and this is a nice size squash to harvest then I have more growing I have one down in there another one here and some growing in this pot this is a don't want to ask me what size pot <laughs> but it's a pretty large pot and I have to cut these moldy leaves off but it's a pretty sized pot pretty big pot but it's growing squash and that one's not as big but producing some nice sized squash and this is broccoli I remember in my last video I need to cut some leaves off so um, that's a, actually a small pot but Really, all I'm going to do is use the greens off of that. Even if it doesn't get a large head of broccoli, I don't really care. Because I just, I love broccoli leaves. They taste amazing. Much better than, um, I like them much better than collard greens or mustard greens or whatever kind of greens. I like kale also, but kale and broccoli leaves are my favorite. So, um, also to... I'll show you this since I'm over here. Um, I started composting in the ground. So that's a hole that I dug. And started composting. And so the compost will be right next to my greenhouse when it get here. <laughs> oh, I'm going to clean up back here cut all of these um, trees back clean up nicely I have some bricks here that I'm going to use for the cover to lay around the outer part of the cover of the greenhouse and there are more squash growing I'm going to come out here a little later. I have something to do today, but I'm going to come out here a little later and cut these yellow leaves off. Oh, that one's doing pretty good. And um, do some weeding, I guess. Need all these leaves off and throw them in my compost. And so, that is about it for today. I just want to show you, 
um, a couple few things besides that definitely I wanted to show you the green I mean the um the okra so thank you for watching like the video comment on the video share the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's get this movement growing literally let's get the community growing our own food thank you again for watching see you in the next video